Sappy paper is manufactured from wood grown in sustainably managed forests and plantations. The timber used for paper production comes either from deciduous trees, such as birch, poplar, beech and eucalyptus, or conifer trees like spruce, fir and pine. Conifer wood has longer fibers than deciduous species and generally forms stronger papers. When the logs arrive at the woodyard, they are fed into a rotating drum which removes the bark. The logs are then chipped. The largest source of wood chips for paper making is the recycled offcuts from industrial sawmills. The wood chips are transported to the pulp mill on a conveyor belt. As they enter the pulp mill, the wood chips are fed into a digester, where they are cooked in an acid solution to dissolve the lignin and separate the plant fibers. We call the pulp obtained from this process wood-free, because the lignin has been dissolved. The fibers are washed to remove the acid solution, and the pulp is now soft and fibrous. Before it can be used to make white paper, the pulp is bleached and any residual lignin, which would cause the paper to yellow with age, is filtered out. To protect the environment, this bleaching is chlorine-free, using oxygen and peroxide. The yellow-brown wood chips that entered the pulp mill have now been turned into a soft white pulp, the principal raw ingredient for making paper. This treated pulp can be dried, baled, and transported to other paper mills, which may either not have their own pulp mill, or may require a specific type of pulp to give the paper particular characteristics. Whether produced on site or bought on the market, the pulp enters the paper mill and is mixed with water. The pulp solution is refined by passing it through a series of rotating and stationary blades. These give the fibers a variable degree of clean cut or fibrillated ends. Fibrillated fibers bind more tightly with adjacent fibers, creating stronger paper. Wood fibers alone would produce rough textured and unevenly dense paper and fillers such as calcium carbonate and clay are mixed in to make the paper more opaque and give it a more controlled density. Dyes, optical brighteners and sizes may also be blended into the pulp to improve the appearance of the paper. By far the most important process material is water. About 100 litres of fresh water are needed to make one kilogram of paper. Sophisticated wastewater treatment plants and closed water circulation systems on the paper line allow over 90% of this water to be recycled. The pulp solution is now a carefully controlled mix of fibers, fillers and coloring agents suspended in water, ready to enter the paper machine. The paper machine is the heart of the paper mill. A continuously running series of manufacturing processes that will convert the pulp solution into the perfect paper grade for each market application. The head box is located at the beginning of the paper machine. Here the pulp solution is injected at high pressure directly into the space between two continuously rotating wires. These carry the pulp into the gap former, which rapidly drains the excess water from both sides. This immobilizes the pulp within milliseconds of leaving the head box. 
turning it into a continuous web of paper. Still wet and fragile, but already exhibiting its most important sheet properties. The delicate paper web is now carried into the press section by continuously looped wet felts, which carry away most of the water and stop the sheet from tearing. At the shoe press, the paper web is forced between a soft rotating roller pressing against a hydraulically actuated metal pad. Water is squeezed out of the paper by this pressure and this is absorbed and carried away by the wet felts. The longer section of the paper machine contains the drying cylinders. These huge heated rollers dry the paper, giving it the strength to become self-supporting, ready for the processes which will determine its surface qualities. The paper sheet passes along the paper making machine at up to 1,400 meters per minute. Every process is continuously monitored to ensure its manufacturing consistency. The paper passes through a machine calendar, where two finely polished steel cylinders at a precisely determined width apart ensure that the paper thickness is consistently even. The paper then passes through a series of sizing and coating presses. Here starch and coating colours are applied to its surface using a film press process. The coating colour is sprayed onto an elastic roll which then transfers the coating film to the paper web. Film press coating creates a uniformly thick coating layer which follows the surface of the paper. After each coating process, the surface is dried by infrared heating panels and drying cylinders. Setting the surface with sizing encourages printing inks to dry on the surface of the paper rather than be absorbed into the paper, increasing the colour intensity of the finished print and improving the surface strength and water resistance of the paper. The paper is then wound onto a series of steel cores which press against a Pope reel. This makes sure that the paper is wound at the right tension onto each core. Every hour the paper line creates a jumbo reel containing 80 kilometers of paper sheet, 8.5 meters in width and weighing 120 tons. The paper machine operators carefully check every aspect of the base paper quality, its thickness, opacity and smoothness, making sure these are exactly as specified before allowing the robot truck to carry the jumbo reel away for further treatment and finishing processes. The final surface qualities of each batch of paper are controlled in the coating and finishing lines. For example, the paper from this jumbo reel may be sold with a gloss or matte finish, natural or bright white in colour. The coating compounds are mixed according to precise recipes in tanks in the coating kitchen. The main colour pigment is calcium carbonate, which makes the paper surface white. But the coating solution may also include clay and talcum powder. Binders can be natural starches or purely synthetic compounds, such as latex. To create a smoother surface, up to two more coatings per side are applied using the blade coating process. Excess solution is sprayed directly onto the paper and is then scraped off by a steel blade. Depending on the pressure of the doctor blade, a uniform paper surface is created as the irregularities in the paper are smoothed out. 
Each side is coated and dried in sequence to create the correct characteristics for each paper grade. The paper now has the correct base characteristics and the optimum coating consistency, but it does not yet have a perfect surface finish. This is achieved in the Super Calendar. The paper passes through up to 10 rollers, which each apply pressure and temperature. These rolls have different surfaces, such as hard steel and soft rubber, depending on the type of gloss and surface treatment required. As it is wound back onto another steel core for transport, the paper in this jumbo reel now has all the characteristics needed for its end use. Apart from one final detail, its size. The jumbo reels are transported to a slitter winder. Rotary blades cut the reel into several narrow reels, which are rewound and sent forward to the finishing department. Several reels are simultaneously fed into a sheeter, which cuts the paper into sheets and stacks these onto pallets. Several printing processes, like heat set web offset, cut star, and label presses, use paper in real form. These reels remain uncut and are moved forward on automated conveyor belts. Whether the paper has been cut into sheets for a sheet press or remains in a roll for a web offset press, the final destination is the same, the packing lines and warehouse. Each reel of paper is wrapped in craft cardboard to avoid damage in transport. Each pallet load of sheets is either shrink-wrapped or wrapped in reams, ready for delivery to the customer. Every consignment of both sheets and reels is labelled with the brand name, a batch number to identify its exact manufacturing history and its destination. All that remains is to ship the paper, now a branded, quality-controlled product with precise characteristics and performance, out to the customer.